All right, guys. Um, you might hear music going on in the house here. Sat up on the balcony because um, I've been back in Spain for a while. I've worked pretty much every day, so uh, today is the day I've relaxed. I'm having a few beers, enjoying stuff on the balcony. Um, as you may see out here, the beach is fairly clear. Restaurant over the road, uh, Asiatico is fairly busy. Lots of people sitting out on the balcony. High Street's quite busy, and then over here we have the um, Churros, um, that's quite busy. And Serbian, I think it's Serbian, correct me if I'm wrong. The ice cream shop, we went there this week. Um, that's pretty good, we enjoyed that down there. My neighbours are quite good downstairs, everyone's chilled out. We've got the professor over here at the minute. Um, everyone's back for um, the summer holidays at the minute. As you probably see over there, look how busy the basketball court is. See, one of the things I will say, this is what, what I like about here. The basketball court is full of people actually playing basketball, not, not people taking drugs and shooting up and whatever, which is what you get in the UK. That's just messed up. Um, It's a different environment, and I think all everyone everything's a problem. Listen to me, stuff in the UK needs to kick up the backside. It really does because it's what's wrong with the country. Whether people like to hear it or not, it's the reality. Um, sunsets over there. Can you see it between the, uh, the apartments? We'll go to the other side. Get a lovely sunset over there. The beach is looking pretty good. I'd like to go fishing tonight, but we'll see. Because I'm thinking about buying some new fishing rods and stuff for me and me and Ubi. Because um, I love fishing. I want to teach him the craft. You know, because I went fishing with my dad for over 20 years. We used to go fishing regularly. It's one of those things that I recommend. You know, if you got some stuff you did younger, remember, pass it on. Because um, it's not just, <laughs> you don't have to be a good fisherman. A lot of the time it's about actually just having that time together and just enjoying it. Um, but yeah, I'm up here enjoying the last day of fun because I'm back at work tomorrow. I'm back on the... Uh, back into Spain, uh, back into the UK in a uh, few hours tomorrow. But we're just coming up the stairs, hiding there. He's gone on the uh, computer. But one of the things I will say, you know, if people go on about mental health and not getting away, um, because I don't think people realize how much of their social enjoyment they missed during the COVID period. I've got to admit, I've bec coming back for a week, it's just taking, you know, you're just more and more relaxed. Um, all the pressure's off, all the crap's off. You know, you just come out and say, right, I took a, took a week out of it. And everything's just, it's simmering. You know, the nonsense is still gonna be there, don't get me wrong. But you've had the opportunity to recharge your batteries and come out of it. Um, I think that's been undervalued in the UK. It's always prod, 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 prod. You know, instead of going, hang on, yeah, you work non-stop, take your holiday. Um, which I don't think enough companies encourage. I know the company I left was terrible for it. I, I wouldn't say... I couldn't say they stole people's holidays annually because um, that would be unfair in the sense of they wouldn't like it, I actually said the truth. Um, but for me, um, I see the importance of time with family, I see the importance of time with getting out of stuff and it's like here, 
I'm home. Can't wait to the conservatories up this bit. <laughs> Tidied all this up, you know, so it's all one colour and all that sort of stuff. And I'm going to tile it. Because then when I come home, I've got my workspace. I can come out, look at the sea and just go, I'm home. I'm relaxed. I'm chilled. Um, and I fully understand the full thing on the uh, great resignation because when you think over 80% of people aren't happy in the work they're doing why do they think that the number's so high? Um, because I see some of the negative stuff on the fact that it's occurred because a lot of people don't actually look at why it occurred um, a lot of it's down to the fact that companies have become more abusive over time and people during the COVID time a lot of people have been able to look at their things and think hang on this doesn't actually fit with employment law hang on I don't actually want this job actually I could be pay, being paid more doing something that's less desirable um, you know and when I say less desirable in the sense of you could be an accountant where you spent a lot of time but you may actually find out with the hours you do you're better off being paid delivering bloody Amazon in the back of a van um, which has got no qualifications beyond a um, driving license. And I think that's the grim reality. People have woken up to the fact many jobs just ain't worth having. Um, I look at mine, the amount of pay on tax. I could do a job that's paying £20,000 a year less, with less stress and everything else. And um, financially, it makes no difference. That's, that's, that's the reality of it because everyone's like let's keep the thumb screws on people that earn more but at the same time you start getting to the point where people like myself go job's not worth it you know what I work six months or years in, instead of 12 months and I did that for a long period of time um, and bizarrely there's plenty of job opportunities because I've got so much experience I know how to do this stuff um, and it may be where I end up in the near future, just working a few months of the year. Money is not everything. Money is like um, only useful up to a point. You can't take it with you. What you can take is memories. You can take experiences. You can take what you did and what you achieved. But most of those don't involve money in the sense of it's normally money that's keeping you away from them. It might, don't get me wrong, if you're goal focused and you go, I want to be a pilot, I need this amount of money to become a pilot. You're money focused. But at the same time, a waiter or a waitress can earn the same goals as somebody working a high-end job in the sense of if you're working towards becoming a pilot, um, the fact is your goal is actually your, your flying lessons and it it can't be that far apart because in a higher end job you're more critical in the sense of you've got to spend more time doing your job waiter waitresses work in a factory clunk job finishes at 12 o'clock or whenever it does in a high-end job they expect you to be available all the time and for a lot more um, jobs beyond your role and that's become the norm that's why we look at um, some of the financial companies um, to reassess things because people have got tired and burned out and lost interest they're good at what they do they're just thinking there's more to life it's like me I sit here on my balcony thinking about spend more time with the kids Ubi's over there playing on the PC at the minute but nice to go and play basketball with him over here my cost of living is nearly to a, where, a point where I could do it part time every month um, I think for most people that's where they want to be not because they want to work part time but a lot of the jobs out there just ain't, they ain't just worth a headache everybody seems so annoyed and aggressive these days it's just frustrating Anyway guys, um, I'm going to go and enjoy the last of my beer, 
because I fly back to the UK tomorrow. So uh, have a great one and have a fantastic weekend. Take care.